Hello guys, this is Alexander Judovic from Creative Lab Workshop and today I am going to show you how you can customize one of our template Maestro. Ok, first open your Adobe After Effects program. After you do that, go to File, Open Project and then navigate to the project file. For this example, I will use Maestro full version and if you have particular trap code particular plugin then you, you should use this full version. If you don't have this, this plugin maybe you should open pre-render version and you will be ok. So I will open the full version. After I open the project I will see something like this. So uh, first let's insert some logo. Let me insert some other okay uh, first let me show you how you can insert the logo uh, you can use either right mouse click go to import file or you can go to file import file and then find your logo on your hard disk i will insert this logo for example and now open the change file here and change logo composition double click on it so you can open it after you open it, you will see example logo deleted, so everything is clear down here and then select your logo. I will insert the same logo and uh, when you so just select it and uh, drag it down here on the timeline. Be sure that you don't drag it and drop it on the right side of this uh, window. Drop it on the left side on the timeline and that is it. After that, if your logo is smaller or, or uh, bigger than this composition, just use S key on the keyboard to reveal the scale option and then scale it up or down. I will leave it like, like this. After you create and change everything, just close the composition and that is it. Now, uh, what if you have square logo? Ok, just open the composition, select your logo, delete everything, in import your square logo and then drag it and drop it on the timeline. Again, be sure that you don't drag and drop it on the right side, just drag and drop it on the left side of the timeline. After that, use S key on the keyboard and scale it down. Ok. Just a little bit up. Uh, uh. Ok. After you scale it and fit perfectly, then go to main composition. And like you see, it's maybe a little small. So I will go to change logo and change logo. Select these two layers by using shift key and then scale it S key again to reveal the scale option and then scale it up and that is it that's the, the, the whole idea so uh, after that you successfully managed to change and insert your logo now uh, if you want to make, make some adjustments, let me show you what I mean. Just I want to import to, sorry, to insert the file because it's a little bit slow to for render preview and by using the video I will move much faster through the timeline. So this is the animation, yes. Now, uh, this works only in full version to first to let you know uh, that uh, because in full version you have the uh, possibility to customize everything. So uh, when you uh, go, go for, through timeline you see you have one light, two light and this light here uh, gives the light to, the, to these particles. So uh, as long as the particles are in near to the light it's uh, well lighted and some particles they're, they're too too far away from the lights it's a little bit darker and and 
not very visible. So uh, by changing this light, the color of the light, you will change the color of the uh, light on the particles. So you will go to colors and there you will find the color for the main light, it is this two light and also the colors for this additional light here. So after the explosion and somewhere here you will see that you can change by clicking on this light. Now also be aware that you must also change the colors of, for the particles. So you must go down on the timeline and this four layer change the particles for this four layer. Uh, you can do that by selecting the, the layer, go to effect control window and then open the particles and go to particles section and there choose color of the over life and just change these colors. So if you want to additionally customize this project to fit perfectly to your needs, you can change every color and change everything. Okay, uh, after you create all the and uh, create all the changes, uh, just uh, be sure that you close all the other composition, then select the main composition, go to composition, add to render query. After that, leave the best setting on, in output module, choose something you like. I will choose for this example a quick time format uh, MPG4 quality best audio as well, and then just place some somewhere on your hard disk. I will choose the root of the my project folder, and after that hit render, and that is it.